both Meghan Markle's unforgivable move, which caused the biggest crisis for the royal family. A royal historian has criticized Meghan Markle for causing an unforgivable amount of stress to the late Queen Elizabeth. Hello, welcome to Royal Diaries. Before we continue, please subscribe to the channel for more British royal family news. Also, like this video and join our community here at Royal Diaries so you don't miss the latest updates. Meghan Markle has been criticized by a royal commentator, who accused her of causing the late Queen Elizabeth unforgivable pressure and suggested that her accession to the royal family was the biggest crisis in the company's history. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shocked the world again in 2020 when they announced their intention to step down as working royals and move to the United States. Since their dramatic departure, they have made a number of explosive claims about the royal family through a series of interviews, their Netflix show Harry and Meghan, and Harry's memoir, Spare. Although the late Queen died in September 2022 while the docuseries was released in December of the same year and Harry's memoirs in January 2023, the couple have already made several strong allegations against the royal family, including one of many during the infamous Oprah Winfrey interview. When they claimed there was a racist in the company who commented on the skin color of their son, Prince Archie, these allegations and their general approach towards members of the royal family were enough to cause an unforgivable amount of pressure on the late queen during the last few years of her life, according to royal historian and biographer Hugo Vickers. He told The Sun, what I find unforgivable is the pressure she put on the late Queen in the last two years of her life. Mr. Vickers also suggested that Meghan Markle's arrival could end up being the biggest royal crisis in the company's history, following the abdication of King Edward VIII and the tragic death of the late Princess Diana in 1997. But he hinted that the full effects of the fallout from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's allegations will be felt by the company for years to come. The expert also commented on the decline in Harry and Meghan's popularity since their exit. He said, I think it's interesting because I was in Windsor on the day of their wedding and the popularity and goodwill towards them was enormous. I don't think it was the press that did it, they just got away with it very quickly. Meghan Markle is said to be ready to sit down with the royal family for reconciliation talks after four years of almost no contact, as she believes a good relationship with her in-laws will help her sell her jam, according to the British newspaper. Daily Mail. Royal commentator. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been a part of the company since stepping down as members of the royal family in 2020 and moving to the United States. Since then, they have made a series of sensational allegations against the royals, and the rift between the two camps is believed to be so deep that Meghan never wanted to set foot in Britain ever again. The last time the couple came to Prince Harry's home country together was in 2022 to attend the funeral of the late Queen Elizabeth. But now a royal commentator has claimed that the Duchess is ready to reunite with her estranged in-laws, despite being genuinely hurt. The biographer also claimed that a royal source claimed the Duchess hoped a reconciliation with the royal family would help her sell nannies from her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. She said, she is also trying to convince Beatrice and Eugenie, who are at the top of her list, to convince people to help her sell her jams. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join our community for more updates.